Back at the Brooks Center, Joe Scarello with your post-game report. The Huskies get it done, 5-3 on Hockey Day, Minnesota. They get the sweep over the Broncos, the number 10 team in the nation. Let's take a look at your highlights tonight. First period, David Hrennick came in. We had a shutout last night with 23 saves, a little banged up. He stays in the lineup, real tough kid. Huskies starting the attack early first. Captain Jimmy Schultz cutting the slot. Let's go a little wrister from the top of the circle. Kicked away Gorsuch with a nice save. Jimmy Schultz playing in his 139th career game. Then Nick Perbeck's trying to join the rush. He falls down, though. A centering pass sparks the other way. Hugh McKing on a breakaway. The five-foot junior all by himself. Tries to slip it through the five hole. Can't do so. It seemed like it was all Huskies in the first until Dossa Di Pietro rips one from the goal line. His second of the season credit our player to watch Cole Conrad with the only helper. And the Broncos have their first lead of the series. They're up 1-0. Huskies would go to the power play when Bafia gets his feet tangled up with the legs of Blake Lazat. Doesn't like it. Doesn't matter, though. St. Cloud State to the power play. Huskies with their best chance of the night. Newell point blank gets his stick lifted by Matthias Samuelson. That saves the goal. Broncos still with the lead. Let's go to the second period. Blake Lazat starts that second exactly how they wanted for the Huskies. Comes up the middle and goes barred down. What a beautiful shot by him and St. Cloud State able to tie the game. The Lindstrom, Minnesota native getting it done on Hockey Day. Cole Conrad gets the gate for tripping and the Huskies to their second man advantage opportunity of the night. Working the puck to the quarterback on that power play. Jimmy Schultz, he's also the captain. They go up top. He lets go a shot. It's on the ice and that's a smart play because Easton Brodzinski tips it past the goaltender. Gorsuch can't handle, and St. Cloud State gets their first lead of the night, 2-1. Sometimes when you get a little confidence, that's all you need, and after last night's first career goal for Micah Miller, he's right back with his second. Two goals in as many nights. Off the pad of Gorsuch, right onto the tape, and to the back of the net it goes. Nolan Walker would get another on the power play as St. Cloud State continues to strike on the man advantage. They were 0 for 3 yesterday two for six today, so that power play continues to roll. Let's go to the third, Ben Blacker comes in relief for Gorsuch as the Broncos were looking for another option between the pipes. Huskies on the power play looking to do damage. It's Ryan Paling accepting a pass from Blake Lazat. He's point blank, doesn't have the answer for the new goaltender Blacker. The top line for the Broncos find their groove a little later, under 10 to play when Paul Washi gives a no-look feed. Jade McMullen playing in his 100th career game. He pulls the Broncos back within striking distance. And then later another opportunity as the Huskies come down. Empty net chance. Robbie Jackson, that one clanks off the iron. No goal. So final seconds left of the period. Ryan Paling, Jack Paling, Ryan Paling, Jack Paling, goal. St. Cloud State on the empty netter. He puts it by. That one went off the post. It seemed like neither one of them wanted to score, but it's Jack Paling who gets the goal. 5-3 is the final. Shots on net 37-18 for the Huskies as they roll in the offensive categories. The two goaltender, Gorsuch and Blacker, combined for 32 saves. In net for the Huskies, David Hrennick was tested 18 times. He made 15 saves. Huskies on the power play. Two for six, 33%. And talked about how big the penalty kill would be as well and the Huskies stay perfect in that category three for three on the PK and in the face-off circle St. Cloud State wins that category as well 33-28 so they're winning in everything here at the Herb Brooks National Hockey Center. Huskies stay undefeated here at the Herb Brooks National Hockey Center. Boy, were they good. They get the sweep against the number 10 team in the nation. That does it for all of us here on our crew on Fox Sports North. Happy Hockey Day from the Herb Brooks National Hockey Center. <laughs>